so you have decided to bring a hamster at home and now looking for proper guidance on how to take care of your little furry friends. As you have taken the decision already, we are here to help you with that. Hamsters make great pocket pets and are one of the most adorable pets you can ever have. But taking care of that little life will require much more than you expect. With that, choosing the right hamster for your lifestyle and house requirements can also be a tricky task. Therefore, we will be helping you in both choosing the right hamster breed and letting you know how to take care of them in your everyday life. So, without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Pedopedia. Before you choose the hamster for you, we would like to ensure you are mature enough to handle a hamster. Now, hamsters are cute, cuddly pets, but they are not suitable for elementary school-going kids. Also, as they can sometimes get nippy and require a lot of attention, hamsters are unsuitable for tiny hands. But a mature hand who can take care of those babies and are committed to having the responsibilities are preferred to adopt a hamster. Also, keep in mind these tiny eyes stay awake at night to be the best companion for night owls. Moreover, hamsters can live only for two to three years, so those who are not committed to taking long responsibility can go for hamsters too. Now coming to the breeds, there are a few different breeds of hamsters you will find in pet stores. Among them, the ideal breed for domestication is the Syrian hamster. These small teddy bear-like hamsters are considered the friendliest option for families with a child. As they typically don't nip, Syrian hamsters will go easy with the human friends but don't stay well in pairs. So if you buy a Syrian hamster, pair house them alone. On the contrary, a dwarf, Chinese or Russian hamster can do well pairs, only if they are litter mates or mother and child. Also, these breeds are popular as friendly pets for their owners. So, you can choose any of these hamster breeds for you or your teenage children. Now, let's go to the hamster care guide. Before you take home hamsters, you have to ensure a proper enclosure and environment for them. So, you will be needed a 450 square feet cage with some required accessories. However, a cage made with wire or stainless steel with a solid floor will best suit hamsters. And with that, you have to buy bedding, toys, sand bath box, sleeping dens, running wheel, and some dry mix for creating a suitable environment for them. For bedding, give them shredded paper, shredded tissue, wood shavings, and processed corn cob in deep layers where they can burrow. Also, avoided any scented bedding which contains chemicals. It can cause respiratory issues as well as clumping litter that can cause digestive issues in your little hammy. In toy shopping, you should include some chew toys for their teeth and a large hamster wheel to keep your hamster happy and healthy. Adding tunnels and tubes will also be a great way to keep them active. Also, keep in mind hamsters are sensitive to any sounds and sleeps in the daylight. So it will be best to keep the hamster in the dark and quiet place where sunlights or sounds won't bother them. And when they're awake at night to explore the surroundings, you can also have a sound sleep. Hamsters are omnivorous and eats plants, fruits, seeds, and insects in the wild. So our recommendation for the hamster diet is pelated rodent foods filled with 15-20% to protein. With that, you can give seeds, especially the sunflower ones, in limited amounts. Also, enrich the plate with fresh veggies and fruits like broccoli, apples, pears, parsley, carrots, and turnips. Avoid any citrus fruit, onions, garlic, chives, leeks, lettuce, and raw potatoes as they can be harmful for their health. You can also give cereals, sugarless cheese, and scrambled eggs to your hamsters as tasty treats. As their front teeth keep growing daily, a clean stick of fruit wood should be given to manage their growing teeth. And lastly, a water sipper should be given for providing fresh water every day. Now, handling hamsters will take some time to onboard. When you bring those tiny friends home, everything is new for them. 
So, you have to give them a few days to be habituated with their new enclosure. Also, covering their cage with a light cloth will be better to avoid any distraction or anxiousness. And when they get habituated with the new environment, try to bond with them by giving them foods and treats. Once they are comfortable with your presence, they will be happy to come near you and walk on your hands. But when you pick them up, hold them gently by cupping them in your hands. Cleaning will be an essential part of your hamster care. As hamsters are fragile creatures and easily get sick when kept in dirty areas. So, you have to take extra care about their cage cleaning and regularly change their bedding to avoid any fungi or bacteria growth. Along with that, the bath sandbox should also be filled with clean bathing sand. And lastly, you have to clean the cage at least once a month with antibacterial soap. For that, the cage will be bacteria-free and your ham babies will stay healthy. So, this is the basic hamster care guide for beginners. You should follow to have a healthy hamster companionship. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment and share this video if you find it useful. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further updates.